Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I just watched Jeffree Star and it started coming out like him. It is so cold outside. Literally with the wind chill, negative 35 I think is what the weather woman just told me. It's freezing. We actually had school canceled today. I was already in Columbus for a conference, so I still had to work today. Or like work, I was listening to seminars. But oh my gosh, going outside was torture. And I feel so bad for any of you that live where it's negative 65 out because I did see, I think maybe Minneapolis is at that right now. I could be just making that up. Someone's there and I don't know how you do it. So leave in the comments below if you're in a very cold climate, how cold it is right now. And then also if you're in a warm one, you can make us jealous. I would, I'm sure there's gonna be some of you like 80 degrees. I wish I could be 80 degree weather right now. Actually, if you hear noises in the background, one, like the heat has to be on 24 seven because our apartment complex sent out a notice saying if we don't have our heat turned up and on actively, and if we don't have, there's water in the background, the hot water like at a small stream and our pipes burst that we're held liable for it. So I don't wanna pay for any burst pipes because they will make me pay for it. It's just a little noisy. Anyway, let's head in to the empties of January. January went by so quickly. February is gonna go even faster because it's just a short month in general. And then it's gonna be March and by that time, I just feel like there's so much to do. I am rambling. I'm gonna cut most of that out. Let's go. So I went through three soaps. If you saw my last empties, um, you would know I am very aware of my soap usage and how much of it I go through and how much of it. I mean, three in a month is so ridiculous. I only have two sinks, the kitchen sink and then the bathroom. We have one bathroom. So in my defense, this one was a little broken. So it was squirted out too much soap. So like that went through like super fast. I wash my hands so much. They are cracked and like so red and they hurt and that's because I wash them too much and I lotion, I lotion all the time but they're at the point where it doesn't matter how much lotion I put on, they're, they're just like fried. So I can't wait for summer because that goes away then. I don't stop washing my hands but obviously winter weather just cracks them and they bleed all the time. Winter candy apples, spiced gingerbread swirl and rose water and ivy, I loved this one. One of my student aides gave it to me for Christmas and I really want another. It's like a very fresh scent. An extraordinary clay shampoo. The conditioner is just like a couple more days behind it. So in February, that one will hit the empties. And this Aveeno Stress Relief Body Wash. Chester, do not leave. Um, it did not make me any less stressed or more stressed. I didn't feel a difference is what I'm getting at with this. But yeah, it washed me and it's got to be clean, and that's what matters. Oh, this. So, this is $22 on anywhere. Sephora, Nordstrom sells it. It's Peter Thomas Roth. It's the water drench, the cleanser, and then the hydrating cloud cream, which I have a full size of this, but I saw it on Sephora's website. I got it for Black Friday, so I did not spend the $22. I spent $15, but do you see how tiny these are? I my bad, didn't look at how big they were when I was buying it because it, it looked like they were at least twice the size of this. So I don't think this is worth $22 at all. This is like a free sample. Sephora would put it at a hundred point perk. It's, it should be free, okay? I like it, I really like this. Um, Peter Thomas Roth, I really like their skincare. It does well for my skin, it doesn't break me out. It's very lightweight, the water drench cloud cream. So if you don't need anything, like it's it's a gel like formula. It, it's, it's weird, it feels like you're almost rubbing like a thicker water form on your skin. I love it, I will buy it again for sure. I will definitely buy the water drench cleanser. It's just, I still am mad at myself for spending even $15 on these two. Lotion, it's rare I go through a whole lotion without like it just going bad. Um, because I have so many, but like right now I don't. But like normally I would have a billion lotions scattered around, but since I'm not that 
person anymore. I only have one at a time, so that's why I go through stuff, which was the point of decluttering a ton of my stuff. But this is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. Such a good scent. I cut it open so I can get out more. Um, it's completely gone now. It's so, 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 so. The like hydration of their body creams or their body lotions is a lot different. So if you are like me and your skin is just like an egg, a hard boiled egg at this time of year and anything will crack it, um, you need something a little bit more intense in your life. So I would go for something like this. Dove. This is the Clinical Protection Cool Essentials. Um, Anthony got this for me because I told him when he went to the store that I really needed deodorant. So I didn't tell him what to get me. I was just like, pick me out one. And he got this one and I actually really like it. So out of all the deodorants I've had in the past three or billion years, I don't remember what I used to use in high school, probably just like secret or something. This works the best so far. So I've been feeling a lot more dry lately and like when I'm working out I feel dry. So someone actually in the comments, one of you or maybe even two of you said to use the Dove but I think you said the spray and I still haven't bought that yet. The Dry Invisible and I will but I'm going through another one of these right now. Drunk Elephant. Oh, love this brand. If I made a little more money I would be buying it all the time but right now it's like one of those I can buy Peter Thomas Roth for like half the price, maybe even a third of the price on some of these products and feel good. And if I had bought the whole line of this, I'd be spending like 300 something dollars. So maybe more, more than that. And I can't. So when Sephora has their next 20% off sale, I'm going to do an order. I'm going to save up. I love Drunk Elephant. I just can't afford it right now. Candles. Our power went out one of these days this month. There was an ice storm. So I lit every candle that I own, which you guys will be so proud of me. I only have three candles left. Do you remember Brittany, like in 2011, who had 40 or 50 or 60 candles? I don't even know that girl anymore, and I'm glad because that's so ridiculous even thinking about. Um, I have three. I actually uh, have been going through a lot of them because I've been home a lot during Christmas break. I went through a lot of them. You guys saw that candle haul during the night empties, which is good. And I'm going to get the point when I don't have any candles and I'll just maybe buy two at a time. So I went through peppermint marshmallow. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. <sighs> Dare to say one of my faves. And then I have twisted peppermint, which I like this one, not as good as this though. Marshmallow always might make everything better for me. And then I went through this fireside candle which just smells like fire. I didn't love it that much, Anthony really liked it. I think he's just sick of my bakery scents at this point. And then we went through a Woodwick, which this is the white teak. These just aren't worth the money. They're like, I think, oh, this smells like a man's cologne which is not my kind of scent either. but. He liked it. So sometimes I'll give him something like, or I'll let him pick out what candles, even though I don't really like them. This kind of, I think, gave me headaches. But um, it only lasted, it burnt down so quickly because it's one of those long wood wicks. And it was it had to have been like 40-ish dollars or at least 30. And I know Bath and Body Works candles are expensive, but you at least get those on a deal. And this one, I think he bought two of these and he ended up spending like $50 and that was a deal. So I don't think so. No, sir. I'll get two for 20 and they burn longer than these. So no offense to what's that store's name, Yankee Candle. I know some of you love them and that's fine. It's just, I, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. And decluttering. Um, the only thing I'm going to declutter this month is a purse. And that's because I used it this weekend and it drove me so insane. I'll go grab it and tell you. It's so cute, but I hate it now. Here it is. It's by the brand, it still has my stuff in it and I'll explain. It's by the brand Violet Ray, which I have a backpack of that is my go-to every day. I always wear it backpack. So I was like, I'm going to get a big purse so I can put my laptop and my school essentials in it. And just like, I needed that big, like, business type bag that's still like a purse and not one of those 
carrying cases, black top bags, I don't know what you call them. Um, and it's just like a really pretty petal pink and everything was going for it. But this is not the person's fault, this first complaint. <laughs> Do you guys see all of my jean denim? It has like a blue tint to it. That is all over it now. You can definitely see it more on this side. Um, which a Mr. Clean Magic eraser should take it off or most of it at least. But what I'm really upset about on this purse is the fact that like my laptop, which is not very big, like it's one of, <laughs> maybe next to my face, you can see comparison. It's only 13 inches long. It's a MacBook Pro. Um, it doesn't fit in here. Like you can't zip it up. So number one, my biggest thing I wanted to for it doesn't work for. And um, this is like a notebook length and that wouldn't like, it took me forever to budge this into here. So it's just not practical for use. And then my, what really triggered me today was, um, it was 35 from below out and it's not the person's fault, but I had my car parked in a parking garage and the hotel where the event was at was sold out. So I had to go to another hotel. So I already was out in the cold freezing. I feel so bad for any in or homeless person that's living through this right now. Like. I know this is a sidetrack, like it really breaks my heart and oh, I just, I almost started crying my home because I kept thinking about it. But anyways, so I'm freezing and this happens. This, it's stuck. All of my stuff is in this area that's stuck. My keys, my phone, my wallet. <laughs> Um, I had to pay for the parking garage, so this I got, okay, this is the hole. This is all I could get open. I was just like gymming, like I was like, I don't care if this purse breaks, I'm so cold at this point. I was trying to rip the purse apart. I didn't, um, apparently I'm not strong enough, or the purse is really well made or something. I got it open just enough to like, <laughs> squeeze my hand like it took a lot of pressure to get my hand through the little teeth and it's cold and my hands are bleeding <laughs> and um, I had to get my credit card my keys and my phone because I didn't know how to get home I needed the GPS out of this little hole in the negative 35 degree weather so after that episode I was done with this purse so I'm gonna clean it up with the magic eraser and I'm gonna give it to one of my students um, if I can get the middle pocket open if that's the case and I can't I'll give it to them to try to open it and then I don't know there's two other pockets that will work still on it I need to get my other stuff out of it though so I some I might have to cut it we'll see we'll see I feel like there's some like essential things still left in that purse okay wow video forever I'm sorry I love you guys <laughs> I hope you're staying warm I hope your animals are staying warm and I'll see you very soon in another video. Chester is also staying warm, if any of you were wondering. He's a happy kitty. If you were about to cut me with your nails. Oh yeah, you were. Okay, love you guys. Bye.